students welcome to sunil's tutorial i'm sunil mehwani and today we'll be doing this chapter called as foreign exchange arithmetic so let's see this let's continue it interest rate arbitrage spot sterling pounds singapore dollars is 2.6315 2.6325 six months forward Uh, sterling pound Singapore dollars is 2.6282 and 2.6292. Sterling pounds interest rate is 3.60, 3.80 percent per annum. Singapore dollars interest rate. Is 2.40, 2.60 percent per annum. Now uh, the unique thing, or the different, what is different between the previous lecture and this lecture? In the previous lecture, they had given you two-way rates, but they hadn't given you two-way interest rates. They had given you currency two-way rates. They had given you bid and ask currency rates. Here, they have given you two-way interest rates also. That means they have given you the deposit rate. And the lending rate. So, if you deposit your money, this is the interest that bank is going to pay you. And if you take a loan from the bank, this is the interest that you will have to pay to the bank. The first rate is the deposit rate, and the second rate is the lending rate. Now, since two-way rates are given to you, since two-way rates are given, therefore. It is not possible to determine the currency in which loan has to be taken. That means now you will have to show both the cases. You will have to take a loan in both the cases and find out. Where you can earn more. Case one. Assume that you take loan one million sterling pounds. You take a loan of one million sterling pounds. Assume borrowing one million sterling pounds. Right. So, what will be my cost of borrowing? My cost of borrowing. I'm taking a loan of one million. Now, guys, careful. Sterling pound. The lending rate in sterling pound is three point eight percent. I'm borrowing in sterling pound, so my lending rate is going to be three point eight percent. I'm borrowing the money for six months. Someone get me my cost of borrowing, please. Is that nineteen thousand? If I'm not mistaken, someone check that, please. Nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand sterling pounds. Right. Therefore, total amount payable at the end of six months is going to be one million plus nineteen thousand. That is one million nineteen thousand sterling pounds. Right. Step one. First, you borrow the money. Transfer the money to Singapore, right? Convert to Singapore dollars, right? I have one million sterling pounds, right? Guys, look at. Since I'm going to transfer the money today, I have to consider the spot rate, right? For one sterling pound, I'm getting two point six three one five Singapore dollars. First is the bid rate. The second is the ask rate. Bid is the buying rate. Ask is the selling rate. If I'm going to convert sterling pounds to Singapore dollars, am I buying Singapore dollars or am I selling Singapore dollars? I'll be buying Singapore dollars, so I have to consider the bid rate, right? I consider the bid rate. This is two point six three one five. So this is two six three one five. 
This is 26,31,500 Singapore dollars I will get. Invest in SGD. I have 26,31,500 Singapore dollars. I am going to, con I am investing in Singapore. I will have to consider the deposit rate. Out of the two rates given to you, the first rate is the deposit rate. So I will be getting an interest of 2.4% for 6 months. Someone please help me calculate this. How much interest am I going to get? 31,578. 31,578 yeah. Singapore dollars. Right? If I am getting an interest of 31,578 Singapore dollars, what is the total amount available? Total amount available at end of six months. The total amount available at the end of six months is I had twenty six lakh thirty one thousand five hundred dollars plus I've got an interest of thirty one thousand five hundred and seventy eight dollars. Right. So twenty six lakh sixty three thousand seventy eight Singapore dollars I'm going to have at the end of six months. This much money I'm going to have. Transfer this money to sterling pounds, right? We convert to sterling pounds GBP. Now, if I'm going to be converting to sterling pound, sterling pound that's your Great Britain pound. 63078 right to convert this into sterling pound do i need to buy singapore dollars or sell singapore dollars sell that means i'll have to consider the ask rate i'm doing this after six months that means i'll have to consider the forward rate so divide this by two point the ask rate after six months is 2.6292 2.6292 someone please divide and tell me Sterling pounds. This is the money that I'll get in UK at the end of six months. In that case, what will my arbitrage be? Arbitrage is the amount that I receive minus the amount that is payable. One zero one nine zero zero zero. I'm going to get a negative arbitrage. How much negative arbitrage am I getting, guys? 6114.712. Negative. Yeah. Right? Since I'm getting a negative arbitrage, that means I'm going to lose 6114.712 sterling pounds in this transaction. So it makes no sense borrowing in sterling pounds. Let's consider case 2. Instead of borrowing in sterling pounds, let me borrow in Singapore dollars. Case 2. Borrow 1 million Singapore dollars. Right? Now, if I'm going to borrow 1 million Singapore dollars, what is my cost of borrowing? I have 1 million Singapore dollars. Right, the uh, let's look at the interest rate. The first is the deposit rate, the second rate is the lending rate. The bank is lending me money, that's the reason I have to consider the lending rate 2.6 percent for six months. Someone, please get me the cost of borrowing 13,000 Singapore dollars, therefore, amount payable. At end of six months, at the end of six months will be one million. I had taken a loan, plus I have to pay an interest of thirteen thousand dollars. So one million thirteen thousand Singapore dollars. That's the amount that I have to pay at the end of six months. Now, the moment I get the money, I'm going to transfer this to UK. So convert to convert to. Sterling pounds. I have one million Singapore dollars. I have to convert to sterling pounds. 
Am I buying Singapore dollars or am I selling Singapore dollars? I'm selling okay. Singapore dollars. I'm converting them into sterling pounds. That means I have to consider the ask rate. I'm doing this today. That means I have to consider the spot rate, right? Spot rate is ask. Spot ask rate is 2.6325. Someone please help me get this. 37986700465 sterling pounds right so i'm going to get 3,79,867.0465 sterling pound gbp right invest in gbp Three lakh seventy-nine thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven point zero four six five. I'm going to invest in GBP. There are two interest rates given to me. First is the deposit rate. The second is the lending rate. If I'm investing, I have to consider the deposit rate. So my deposit rate is three point six percent. And my I need this for six months. I'm investing for six months. Someone please get me my uh, six. Six thousand eight thirty-seven point six zero six eight sterling pounds. This is the interest that I'm going to get. Once I have this, that means what is the total amount? Total amount received at the end of six months. The total amount received at the end of six months is three lakh seventy-nine thousand. Eight hundred and sixty-seven point zero four six five plus three lakh sixty-nine thousand seventy-nine thousand, and uh, this is how much interest is six thousand eight hundred and thirty-seven point six zero six eight. So, when tell me how much am I getting? Eight six seven zero four one six five three three. Sterling pounds. This is the money that is going to be available to me at the end of six months. Since I have taken a loan from in Singapore dollars, I have to repay in Singapore dollars. So I need to convert this money back to Singapore dollars. So reconversion to Singapore dollars. So this is three eight six seven zero four point six five three three. Now I'm going to do this at the end of six months. That means I have to consider forward rate. I am converting sterling pounds to Singapore dollars. Am I buying Singapore dollars or am I selling Singapore dollars? I'm buying Singapore dollars, right? So I have to consider the bid rate. So if I consider the bid rate, this is two point six two eight two. Someone please help me get this. One zero one six three. One zero one six three. Three seven. Hmm. Point one six nine. One six nine Singapore dollars. That's the amount that will be available to me at the end of six months. So in that case, what is my arbitrage? Total amount available minus total amount payable. One zero one six three three seven point one six nine minus one zero one three zero 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 point zero zero zero. I'm going to gain three thousand three hundred and thirty-seven point one six nine Singapore dollars. So in this case, my conclusion will be: borrow the money in Singapore dollars and lend it in sterling pounds to uh, have a net arbitrage. I do you understand this? Let's put up a sum for you all for practice. Sum, euro, no USD, INR, spot is forty-eight point eight eight three zero, forty-eight point eight eight six zero. Six months forward. Six months forward is forty-nine point two three three zero. Forty-nine point two three six zero. Right, interest rates in INR. INR interest rates are 
4.25, 4.50% per annum. USD interest rate is 1.25, 1.50% per annum. You have to calculate the interest rate arbitrage, right? Look at the previous sum, try the same method and you should be able to get the answer, right? We'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.